Hey guys, so today is the first day I am taking the first step to get my teeth straightened once again. So I had braces maybe like five or six years ago and my teeth had shifted. So now I don't have time to get braces again because I don't want that, but I'm going to go with Smile Direct Club because I heard great things about them. So right now I'm currently in the consultation room waiting to be attended to. Okay guys, so I just left the Smile Direct Club right now and they were super friendly, they were super nice. I, was, I felt so comfortable and I got the whitening kit today for free, for the low, you know, for free, for the low. And um, I'm gonna start my process soon and I'm super excited because it's only six months and she was like, oh, why do you even wanna get your teeth straightened? I was like, baby girl, I want my teeth even more straightened. You can see everything, you can see it like, how your teeth are gonna look like you can see how your teeth look now so it was crazy for me to see like the 3d scan of how my teeth look right now and i i uh sub stupidly ate twizzlers before i got there i don't know why i did but you can see the little bits of twizzlers, <laughs> of twizzlers like all in between my teeth but you guys i'm excited because i've always wanted to have my teeth even more straightened than they are Good morning you guys happy saint patrick's day i'm about to actually put up a tutorial right now for a St. Patrick's look. I've never really seen a St. Patrick's makeup tutorial, so I was like, ooh, that would be cute to do. But don't mind my hair. I am trying this new thing now. I am leaving my hair in its natural state. I feel like I've manipulated it enough. And you know one thing I want Apple to do with the new upgrade? I want Apple to uh, portrait mode its videos. I think that'll be so super, super dope because the pictures portrait mode is amazing. So why not record in portrait mode as well? Like that would be awesome. Unless you can already do that and I just don't know how to. And it smells like peppermint. It smells like peppermint. Good morning, everyone. So today I have a couple things to do actually. Um, I have to go run some errands. Those of you guys who dealt with, you know, financial aid and all that stuff when it comes to school, Y'all already know the struggle. The crazy thing about it is today it is raining like crazy outside. So I have to go out in the rain in this puff of mine and, you know, get the errands done. But what's a girl to do? Because I have things to do with my life. You know, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to hand anything to you. You got to go out and get it yourself. I'm not going to wait on anybody to do anything for me. With that being said, yes, I will be stepping out today. I was gonna um flat iron my hair, y'all look. Y'all look. My hair is in need of a trim so bad. Like a deep condition, a trim, a protein treatment, just so much, right? <laughs> but I was gonna do that, but I looked outside and the weather was raining. I was like, oh no. <laughs> so when I come back um, from running my errands outside, I will flat iron my hair and I will, you know, treat my hair to. Uh, ooh, this light in. Ooh! Oh, I should have a couple of bottles out here. But yeah, you guys, do you see this rain? Y'all see this rain? It's nothing to play with. Up here in Rhode Island, it is raining bananas. And it's cold. And there's still snow. What? I thought spring came a couple days ago. What happened? I just came back from outside, you guys. My jacket is like soaking wet. This is like probably the only part that's dry. Everything else. Look, this is like completely wet. So you guys, I'm back in my room. My puff has gotten smaller due to shrinkage in the rain and all that. So I'm about to go downstairs and find something to eat because your girl is starving and I'm tired. It looks like I don't have no hair now, <laughs> like barely.
Okay, guys, I'll tell you one thing. Um, yeah, it's about time to let this flat iron go. It does not flat iron. Like, if flat irons, like, it stretch, no, what it does is stretches. It stretches the hair out. So, this was a fail, complete, utter fail. But I think what I need to do is just go get a press and call this a day. Good morning, you guys. I woke up this morning. Today's a Sunday morning. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to church today because I'm just way too tired and um, worked a whole double last night. So, y'all, I'm exhausted. But you know, church is not limited to just a building. The church is within us. So. Later on today, I am actually going back to work, and I'm just like, yippee. I just can't wait to make you. I just can't wait to be successful. Today in Rhode Island, it is starting to look like spring. Like, it's starting to, the sun is starting to come out. The snow is, like, melting away. But it feels like it's still, you know, cold. Like, it's still windy. Like, I would still say bring like a sweatshirt. I mean like a like a little like jacket or sweatshirts. Yeah. Long sleeves. Like I wouldn't be walking around in dresses yet. Excuse me. And it's March. And I'm upset because in other states they are already experiencing summer pretty much. Like in the South. I'm so mad. Like I follow some of my friends on Snap and they're they're in like short sleeve shirts, walking around in shorts, maxi dresses flip-flop sandals i'm like girl we still up here in freaking i still have my winter jacket out like come on Rhode Island, get it together get it together the other day i was watching this video and um it was these two guys pretty much saying that if you sleep with the guy um before you guys get into an official relationship is that wrong and according to them, no, it's not wrong because there are three different stages of the relationship. I have two toothpaste on my, but anyway, and there are three different stages of uh, um, of a relationship. One is you guys are friends. Two, you guys are talking. Then three is the official relationship stage. So he was like, in which of those three stages would you sleep with the guy if you wanted to? And the, um, they were both they asked the question and then it was like yeah I feel like even if you wanted to sleep with him when y'all were just friends it's fine or if you guys are just talking it's fine and so they uh, if you guys are familiar with Facebook live you can kind of dial somebody in so one of the people viewing can give their opinion as well so this girl it was actually a girl that dialed in and she was like yeah i agree i don't feel like you should make a guy wait for nothing even if it's on the first night because at the end of the day while you're making him wait he's going around sleeping with other women so you know you shouldn't make him wait there <laughs> the way they validated what they had to say was it's gonna happen anyway so why not just let it happen as friends or just talking why not just do it then why wait till the relationship because you know the relationship is going to be a long-term one anyway you know it's going to lead to this and whatever so why why not just do it and you're going to be mad if you make him wait and then he leaves you now you really gonna feel like a hoe y'all <laughs> i was like what like are you okay I didn't say that doing it on the first night makes you a hoe. First of all, first, first of all, I'm not gonna be pressured to do anything I don't wanna do because I'm scared that you're gonna, you know, step out and that you're already doing it with somebody else. If I feel like you're already doing it with somebody else, it's cut right there, period. Like, it's dead right there, right there. They said, what if you um, wait and say, okay, you're not gonna sleep with him until you the relationship and then once it happens, he leaves. Okay, what if he does the same thing as a friend? Why would you, at least if you make him wait, I feel like you give him, you get something out of it. There's a chase factor there. You feel like, okay, like he, you make him put in the work. I'm not about to, I'm not about to be sleeping with you in no friend stage and, and I'm getting to know you. They was, oh, that's another thing. They was like, yeah, 
you're getting to know i'm getting to know you right so i gotta and then he did a little coca-cola demonstration i gotta get to know everything about you oh really oh really hmm okay so sleeping with me is a part of getting to know everything about me before you even know me because they talked about the it's fine on the first nights or just as friends and i'm not saying all of this to doubt anybody's opinion but this is my opinion because i'm sharing my opinion my opinion on what they had to say just like they had their opinion. oh my gosh you guys look what finally came for me if you guys know me y'all already know i had to go looking for my lashes but a low low because nobody got time <laughs> Aren't these so cute, you guys? Like, these are exactly how I love my lashes to look. 